All right, all right, all right. We're live. We're live today. We're live today. All right. Say, hey, glad to have you with us today. Think about it. Would you rather be perfect or prolific when it comes to your business, when it comes to your brand, when it comes to you as a product person or, or a service person or an author or a teacher, coach, speaker, trainer, whatever it is you do, would you rather be perfect or would you rather be prolific? You have to think about that. And that's what we're going to talk about on today's Lunch and Learn. Hi, my name is Dean Renfro. Glad to have you here with us. Appreciate you being here. And we're going to talk about this today on today's show. We're going to take a look at that because I think oftentimes we find that that's what keeps people from making the next step is they struggle with being perfect or being prolific. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. Today, hey, let me know you're watching today with me. Just uh, type in your name below in the chat, and uh, we'll be glad to uh, say hi to you. And appreciate you being on the show today as we get started here. So let's talk about this thing about being perfect. You know, a lot of times people struggle with the whole concept of perfect in the in the process of saying, okay, well, I, you know, I got to get my hair right, and I got to get my clothes right, and I got to get, I got to be in the right spot, and I got to get the right office, and and, and, and uh, I got to do all that before I can ever even try, right? Or uh, all the, everything has to be done right. Now, again, I'm not talking about, you know, when it comes to contracts and, and those kinds of things. Yeah, all that stuff needs to be perfect. It needs to be perfect. But what needs to happen many of the time is for us to get out here and, and realize that we're going to make a connection to people. Does it require us to be perfect? Are we worried about the fact that people will judge us because Maybe our hair is not right. You see, I, I have to have that problem. I have to get my hair just right before I go on the show. Uh, or I'm afraid pe people won't like me or people won't converse with me or they won't type something in the chat box, you know, if it's not perfect, right? It's got to be, it's got to be perfect. The setting has to be perfect. The timing has to be perfect, right? For a lot of people, you, people struggle with perfect. The lighting has got to be just right, you know, and, and we got to get everything in place and the microphone has to be right. And, you know, we have to have the right technology. You've got to have the right camera. What camera is it that you're using right there, right? Uh, uh, it, it, reality is, is like we got to have we got to have the right microphone. You know, it's got to be a is it going to be a blue Yeti or is it going to be a snowball or, or, or you know, is it going to be a 4K camera? Is it going to be a, you know, what kind of camera is it going to be? You know, and all that kind of thing that everybody struggles with about getting everything perfect. And again, I'm not against perfect. You know, you got to have the right script. You know, you got to say everything the right way. And you, you got to look like you're looking at the camera, not looking at your teleprompter so that you that you don't get anything wrong. Right. The problem with that is, is that you're never going to be perfect. Everything's never going to be perfect. And if you keep waiting on perfect, You'll never turn anything out. So you could probably already tell today that that where I'm headed is it's more important for you to be prolific than it is to be perfect because you're going to make a mistake. Even when you try to be perfect, even when you got everything right, there's just things you can't control. You can't control the Internet. You can't control whether there's a lag or not. You can't control uh, the process of what happens on the other end. You can't. You, you know, you can have it all mapped out perfect and somebody may not catch your 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 live broadcast to the end. And then what? Right. You may have done everything right and then it didn't turn out right on the other end. Or the power may go out or or the Internet may go down or Facebook may lag or LinkedIn may lag or uh, Periscope may lag or YouTube may lag. And it, and it gets in slow motion and it cannot let talk and nothing kind of goes right. All that can happen. You can't control that. So perfect. If you're waiting on perfect, it's going to stop you. It's going to keep you from getting your business out there, your brand, your book, your product, your service, whatever it is you, you do. Uh, and, and the reality is that that what we have to realize is going on for us as a, a business owner or as a author or as a coach, as a speaker, as a live caster, as a product person, as a salesperson, uh, as a ministry leader, as a pastor, as a teacher, whatever it is you do, if you're waiting on perfect, you're, you're still going to be waiting. 
and life will pass you by opportunity will pass you by so let's don't wait on perfect let's wait and go after prolific right let's don't wait till all is perfect just take the step and start doing more right start doing more the reality is 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 the more you get out there right the more you get out there the more you're going to get connected so prolific gives you the opportunity to 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 jump in and make things happen and, and you know let's just face it most people are on one of these devices most of the time so you always have the ability with you to go prolific you don't have to do all this stuff here this fancy stuff i'm sitting in my in my little office at home and uh, shooting this with you know overlay and using this cool tool and uh, by the way if you'd like to get that tool there's a link up there in the top of uh of the description up there uh that you can you can get this tool it's pretty cool it works pretty easy you can you can send people an invite link and they can join matter of fact that link's up there no that link's not up there <laughs> see there are already made a mistake i already made a mistake right now because I didn't change the link to get on the show. So let's change the link to get on the show. All right. All right. Let's just change the link to get on the show so that people can join this show and not some other show. All right. Because that's kind of what happens in, in, in the process. So if you if you wait, uh, you know, on the on on perfection to come along, you, you'll never get lost. If you wait on uh, everything to to work just right every time you're you're the time that you're on is going to be limited. The ability to be on is going to be limited. So let's talk about what, what does it take to, to get started? How much do you, you know, need to be in place to, to, to get started? How much, how much, what does that need to look like? Right. How, how, what does that need to look like when, when you think about what do I need to do? What, what's kind of the, you know, what's kind of a rule of thumb for this, right? What's the rule of thumb for this? Because because here because here's what we know is is at least in life and death situations people that put themselves in that all the time is is seventy percent the finest war machine in the world the finest combat troops in the world in my opinion u s marines have a seventy percent rule now if you were in the army or you're in the navy or you're in the air force or whatever that's okay yeah don't get offended. But they say 70%. You have, when you get 70% of the information, you have to make the call because your life depends on it. Your life depends on it. Well, in business, it's the same thing. If, as a coach, a speaker, trainer, product, salesperson, if you wait to get all the information, you're never going to get enough. One more piece of information, how much is that going to help you? Most of the time, not very much at all. Not very much at all. So taking the step becomes an important component of, of what we're doing if you can just get to 70%. If you'd like to join me on the show and talk about that, just click the link up there. It works now. And uh, you can come on the show. We can talk a little bit about that. And you can show other people how this tool, how great this tool is and how it works and how that you don't have to be have everything together uh, to make it work. But let's just say, let's just say that you're out and about and you run across something in your business or in your in, in your sales or in your service or in, in what you do as a, as a person, whether you're a coach, speaker, trainer, teacher, photographer. Um, uh, whatever it is you do, network person, and you come across something that would make a great moment to get get it in front of people. Now, you see, the thing is, is oftentimes you think, well, well I, I don't, I'm not prepared to go live. Okay, well, don't go live. Just take your, take your phone and shoot a video, right? Take your phone and shoot a video and put it up later because you, you can always upload it later. Now, again, granted, not as many people will see it, but the more times you put yourself out there, even if it's just an uploaded video from your phone, the more times people are going to have the opportunity to engage with you. So take the opportunity along the way to realize, am I going to be perfect or am I going to be prolific? And if I choose prolific, I have a whole lot more opportunity for people to engage me and to find something they, they like about my product or my service or about my person or about my offer or about about who I am and what I can what I can deliver to people. If if I if I take the prolific route over the perfect route. So as you look at the process today, I've just found that this tool right here makes it easy for people to jump up and go live. You don't have to have all this stuff around you. Just go live. 
and, and it's easy for people to join in in with you using this tool because you can just put an invite link like I did up there and somebody can come on their phone or their tablet or their desktop uh, or their iPad and they can join you on the show and you can have a conversation about something. Say you want to have a conversation about a product that you found or a service that you've encountered and you want you want that uh, you want that process process to be available to you and you want but you want to have somebody else's opinion or you want to have somebody else talk about it with you you can just bring them right on the show with you in a, in a heartbeat or say you want to put a video up uh, you know from from a, a platform say like YouTube and you want to show that on your show well, that, with this tool it's easy or say you want to put up a, a slide on your show and you want to talk to somebody about uh, about uh, something and you want to do some teaching and you want to put up some notes in front of people. That's an easy thing to do with the, with this tool. It makes it very simple to be able to do. So uh, that's one of the reasons I wanted to come on today and talk about that in this lunch and learn is, is moving forward. Moving forward requires you to be more prolific and less perfect. Moving forward requires that you worry less about the technology that's necessary because you, you have all the technology you need when you have your phone. And if you have your earbuds and a phone, you can, you can shoot a pretty good video, whether you do it as a video or whether you do it as a live, it's pretty easy to do. Now there's a few things you have to watch for. You know, you don't want to stand with the sun behind you and shining on you and makes you look dark or take, try to take a picture when, when you've got all kind of light behind you and none in front of you. So you, you have to, know a little bit you have to use some common sense and position yourself so that so that there's light on your face right so that people can see you and so that there's there that going on so like right now i've got the door open in my office and and the sunlight from outside the sun just came out from behind the cloud and you know you, you might have noticed i got real bright on this side of my face right so so but i'm not worried about that i'm not worried about the perfection of everything because I think people all we all know that people have flaws, right? We all have flaws, and and it's it's always on. So we have to we have to choose prolific over perfect. We have to choose, you know, we don't have to we don't have to get caught up in the technology. Do I have all the right camera and the right lens and the right this and the right mic and the right? Just take what you have and start putting it out there because people are more interested in what you have to say about something. Whether you're saying it as a as a, an authority in that area, or whether you're making a comment about something, or whether you're talking about a product or service or something that you found, maybe it's a book, you know, maybe it's a book you just read, and you want to talk about the something that has opened your eyes to something in a book, like uh, look, you know, I've, I I learned a new thing from the book right back there, WWHW about about how to go about putting out content on a consistent basis, you know, why. Why am I going to talk about that? Well, I'm telling you why. Why, why. why would you want to go? Why would you want to be more prolific over perfect? We've talked about that. And I've talked about the what. What's important about that part? It's because it gets you out your message out there more and more. And people can see you more and more often. Right. And then I've talked about, well, how, how do you do that? Right. You, do, you just do it. You know, you just go live. And then what if what if you do it? It, it gives you the opportunity to create more followers, more fans, more connections, more more whatever your is you're trying to get across to people than what if you don't do it because that's what if you wait on perfection then you you never get it done right so there it is wwhw and and you see what happened there's a simple formula that you can use so you learn something today you've seen something in action you've heard a story and now you're in the place to take action for yourself and the tool that you can do the how-to tool is up there. Just click on the tool, and you're good to go. Just just get it, try it out. They got a trial period. You can try it from your desktop or your laptop, and, and, and uh, invite people to come be a part of your show. You know, do something with people and have them come on, even if they're sitting right next to you. Have them come on on their phones and join you by just clicking an invite link and sending it to them. So the power of of, of being prolific way overwhelms. Perfect. Well, well, I'm perfect. Because no matter how, how how hard you try to be perfect, there's always going to be something you can't control. So, hey, thanks for being with me on my lunch and learn. If you like 
if you like my new graphics on the page, like my lunch and learn up there and, and my little my little lunch bag and coffee cup right there, my lunch and learn. Hey, just give me a one in the box. Let me know. Hey, I like that. That's cool. Right. That's cool. And maybe I'll do a lesson on uh, maybe I'll do a, a short video here real soon. I want you to learn on how I did how I did oh, this and whoop. Let's see what this and that because <laughs> it's backwards the way I, on my camera, the way I see it. But it's forward to you, backwards to me. I do a lunch on how do you create that real quick? How do you create that real easy? And uh, uh, so you can have things like that when you're there, when you get to that stage, right? When you get to that stage. All right. Thanks for being with us today. We'll talk to you later. Have a great day. See you soon.